Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm Cassie, thanks for being here. You're the best, hope you're having a great day. Who's ready to watch a movie? We had a Western poll over on Patreon. It was so close the whole time. And Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, which I already watched, ended up being the winner, but only by one or 2% to 310 to Yuma. I think 310 to your mom. <laughs> I might hear that title. I have no idea why. It doesn't even make any sense, like in physics. I don't know what this movie's about, but I hope that doesn't become very offensive. I know it's a remake, and I know some of you are gonna be mad that I'm not watching the first one first, but I just put the 2007 one in the poll without thinking about it, and then ended up getting second. So I gotta give the people what they want. I think Leonardo is in this, which I just watched him in The Departed, and he is just fantastic and everything he does, so I'm excited. It's a Western in 2007, which is kind of fun. I like a modern Western, and I loved Tombstone, and I liked Butch Cassidy, so I think this is gonna be good. Okay, if you wanna vote on polls like this and come hang out with movie lovers, here is my Patreon community, it's the best. And then if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, and a 310 to your mother, let's go. Ooh. Uh -huh. <gasps> Holy crap! Holy crap! Too loud! Hold on! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was so scary. <sighs> that was intense. Dan, maybe it's the wind. Is that Christian Bale? I can't believe it's Christian Bale. Did anyone tell me it was Christian Bale? I love him, Christian. Bird's over the ranch by now. You go get cleaned up. Does he owe some people money? You told me we made payments to Hollander. How do you think we bought feed, Alice? Medicine for Mark? We're supposed to make decisions together. It's too bad the doctors at Essex say so much of my leg. I read that the Pension Act is by the pound now. Oh. Stop looking at me like that. I'm gonna round up the herd, and I'm going into town to Hollander to make this right to pay for a new barn. Maybe we should just shoot him like Will says. Russell Crowe. There are some big names in this. Coach is headed for Bisbee, boss. Double shotguns and a Gatling. Hmm. Better let me save the feed. You gonna hop that? Someday, William. You walk in my shoes, you might understand. I ain't ever walking in your shoes. Tracks over here! I feel nervous. Russell Crowe, is he a bad guy? Oh, yep. I think they're robbers. Oh. Is that a machine gun? <gasps> oh, shoot, he did that on purpose. That was... <sighs> These are the other people's cows. Oh, play dead, play dead. No. Don't like that guy. My name's Charlie Prince. I expect you heard of me. Well, I heard of the Charlie Princess. I hate Pinkerton. It's a Pinkerton. 
Captain. Blend your hair to an old gray bar. You gotta help that way. Probably cheaper just to let me rob the damn thing. You're gonna kill me. Get to it. I ain't gonna kill you. Not like this. I'll come for you. I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Just like Butch Cassidy. He is definitely a bad guy. <gasps> He's got his kids. Back up. Children? This is what happens when you put us all at risk. It was his own team. Back up Back up. Oh shoot. It's okay. Just looking for their cows. Those are my cattle. Careful, Ranger. That's Ben Wade you're talking to. I need them back. I don't need your cattle. But I will be needing them horses. What? So you don't go do nothing foolish. All of them? Find them on the road to Bisbee. Boys? Oh, they're gonna... Oh, okay. Guess that's a little nice. They're probably running late. Pinkertons don't run late. That's why they're paid $18 a day. I mean, I've only known them for about four minutes, but I feel like Russell Crowe's character could turn to be nice, but that other guy, no. Are we letting the children see the bodies? Okay. <laughs> The <sighs> coach header for here got itself held up. God damn it. By Mr. Ben Wade himself. You see the hand of God? He kissed him. Why the hell didn't you do something? They had a lot of weapons, mister, and they were shooting bullets. Where are you from, anyway? Tom Conrad, about a thousand head in Mexico, hired us to drive him in. Ah! Let's go. So the law enforcement leaves. Something's going on with the railroad, man. Oh, we're robbing the town now. The town already looks very robbed. Had to say goodbye to Tommy Darden today. Proverbs 13.3. He that opens his lips too wide shall bring on his own destruction. Amen. Okay. Tommy is stupid. Maybe he's not. Tommy is dead. Redeemable. I drink to that. You're going across the border. I'll wait for you. All right, Charlie. You ever work for a blind Irishman in Leadville? I was a singer. Best time I ever had in my whole life. What made you quit? Got to coughing. The doctor said I should find a drier climate. She's called TB, maybe? You remember a girl? Her name was Velvet. Nobody forgets Velvet. You look kind of skinny. Uh, I feel skinny. I don't mind skinny girls. What are you saying that like it's bad? As long as they got green eyes to make up for it. Can't tell if she likes this or she feels like she has no choice. That's alright. Then I'll have to be green. William, maybe you take a turn? You boys go ran up the herd. I'm pushing too hard. I can't afford any more dropping. Mr. McElroy, can you hear me? This man needs attention. See which way he rode, Evans? It's like they were headed to Bisbee. They know they got tricked. What do I know her from? No, I think it was consensual. There's a little town just south of the border. Folks would pay good money to hear a white woman sing. Imagine me sitting on down to Mexico with Ben Wade on my arm. I'm no water in Mexico. Jump out that back window with me now. <laughs> Great scene. You the doctor? Coach got held up. Oh, wash. He's a bounty hunter under contract with the Pinkertons. That bullet's still in there. Get it out. Mm. Hold him, please. Don't touch me. I know him too. Ugh, I'm so bad at this sometimes. Oh. Oh. What kind of doctor are you anyway? It's nice to have a conversation with a patient for a change. Christian Bale's a cowboy. Works. Mr. Hollander, you got no right to do what you've done. You shut off my water. How'd you expect me to pay off my debts if you can't live? <gasps> Before water touches your land, it resides and flows on mine. I can do with it as a please. Oh, he's a delight. Can you, can you just let me get this spring? Sometimes a man has to be big enough to see how small he is. Oh. Goes. Your land's worth more with you off. What's he doing? Hollander! With a little bent rancher. You come to wake some snakes? Dan, would you like a drink? Oh, thanks. But you killed two of my herd. I tell you what. 
That should cover it. How much you get for a day's work? Two dollars. Wanna hire out? Well, two dollars for half a day. You took up my boy's time, too. Give me five dollars extra. What's that for? For making me nervous. <gasps> hands up. Bob! Hey, Bob! What? Give me your hands, Mr. Swear. Peggy's gun. Ben, I captured his B. That gun's got a curse on it. Uh, I think you can. I think we should shoot him right now. If you do that, everybody in this little town will be dead by morning. Oh, because his people will retaliate? Over $400,000. 400000 The Southern Pacific will have Ben Wade hanged in public. And we will pay to make it happen. I need three more men. You can have Tucker. Yeah. I'm coming. Potter's coming. What? Where are they going? I'll come. For $200? Fine. $200. Where are they going? To take him to court? That's the guy who was just shot. He's walking. Okay. Did you see that? Char. <gasps> he just shot the innocent people. Head for Evans Ranch. How long does he have to be here? Alright, make sure his outfit takes the bait. Does he see him? Evan! Can you give me a hand with this? Whatever your wife's cooking in there smells good, Evans. I feel very nervous. Why aren't they capturing that guy? Let's go. Good driving, Marshal. I may have to play poker in this town. Hey, look, we're gonna check on my family when you come back, right? First thing. Yeah! Man. Oh, I see. He's really here. What happens if they catch the wagon? Marshall's got a fast rig. They should reach the fort before dawn. His gang can't do anything in front of the whole six cavalry. They're a pretty good gang, it seems like. I don't like using Wade's family in this. Did you have fate. something to do with that? I hope you're proud of yourself. He's doing the job, Doc. No, he's staying at their house eating their food. We always wait to say grace. We don't presume to teach other people manners. I'd like to hear it. Ooh. Please bless this drink and food we pray. Bless all who shares with us today. Amen. 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 My Paul wants to, he can shoot you dead. He can shoot a jackrabbit at 50 yards. Shooting an animal's a lot different than shooting a man. No, it isn't. Not my opinion. Now, Byron, he's killed dozens of people. Men and women and children. <gasps> Miners. I was so taken, didn't deserve what he got. Every way of man is right. In his own eyes, Byron. Lord ponders the heart. Proverbs 21. Damn. Oh, what the damn? Oh, can you cut the fat off there? I don't particularly like the fat at all. Ooh, too far, mister. You mind if I ask you how you got that hitch in your step, Dan? Don't tell him nothing, mister. Where are you stationed? These two. Second company sharpshooters out of Cliffville, Massachusetts. My father was defending the U.S. Capitol in the District of Columbia. Did he get shot off? Cut off? Oh, dinner time. Indian stealing. There's something moving up there in the grass. Hey, me. You ever been to San Francisco? Oh, don't scare her. I know a girl there. She had the most beautiful green eyes. Not the greenest eyes I ever saw. Like yours. All the colors of the sea. Would you say your name was again? Alice? He wasn't talking about her, right? For God's sake. He's killed more men than the drought. You can change your mind, Dan. No, no, think less of you. I'm going to can't think less of you. <gasps> six months from now, everything's going to be green. We will make it through the next six days if I don't do this. McElroy says five minutes. <laughs> Doc. You think it's too much for me? To kill her, Daniel. Then someone ought to have the decency to bring him to justice. What are you thinking? I have a little faith in me. And wait, as a gang. I'm here out there tonight. If I don't come, we gotta pack up and leave. I'm tired, Alice, of watching.
Boys think the world of him, you can tell. Even William, deep down. Holy cow! That was heartbreaking monologue. Should be in trouble, Mark. Yes, sir. All right. William, I want to come with you. Well, you can't. I can help. I don't have time to argue. William? <sighs> Teenagers. Where are we headed? Ain't none of your business. You're a prisoner. You don't goddamn breathe unless we say so. That is a little self righteous. I think he's gonna get in trouble. Putting you under 310 to you, my day after tomorrow. 310 to you. Shouldn't have told him that. Now, if we get separated, I know where to meet up. I'd like to thank you for your hospitality, ma'am. Hope I can send your husband back all right. Is that kindness or a threat? What Ben Wade mean about sending Paul back all right? Ben Wade don't have to lift a finger. His gang will do it for him. No one's gonna kill him. Your father can take care of himself. Shh. No, he's not. What are you doing out here, Dan? You're not a lawman. You don't work for the railroad. Not a Pinkerton. He doesn't have any money. Can't you Maybe see that? I don't like the idea of men like you on the loose. Man's nature to take what he wants, Dan. Mm. That's how we're born. Well, I'm making an honest living. I imagine debt puts a lot of pressure on a marriage. Do you imagine? Well, I know if I was lucky enough to have a wife like Alice, I'd treat a whole lot better than you do, Dan. Okay. I'd feed her better, buy her pretty dresses. Wouldn't make it work so hard. Okay, maybe that's... Yeah, I'll bet Alice is a real pretty girl before she married you. Shut up and burn my body. You say one more word. I like this side of you, Dan. Mr. Evans! Don't talk about another man's wife, Wade. Okay. I suppose it's too much to ask for a little quiet. Is he dead? <laughs> He used the fork. Oh, he is evil. Isn't this guy so scared that the gang's gonna get him? Oh, I spoke too soon. Don't you worry there, boss. We're gonna get you out of there in a second. <laughs> Let me out of here, goddammit. Where did they take him? He's gonna kill you anyways, don't tell him. We're going to detention! Get him! Get you a prison! Ah! It's his own fault he got caught. You think he can do a better job later in this group? Maybe. He forgot what he done for us. We're going to contention! Sheesh. Can't say I didn't warn you. There's a shortcut we could take through the pass. That's Apache country. We'll take our chances. Why'd you kill Tucker? Well, Tucker took my horse. Tell me you burnt down your bar. Wishing him dead and killing him are two different things. Your conscience is sensitive, Dan. I don't think it's my favorite part of you. You want to talk to somebody, talk to me. I just don't find it that interesting. <laughs> Laugh it up, Doc. I got you like a fish. You ever read another book in your life, Byron, besides the Bible? No need. Byron acts pious. I've seen him and a bunch of other things. Mowed down 32 Apache women and children. Pushed them into a ditch. Some of them were still crying. Tell me that's not true, Byron. Apparently Jesus don't like the Apache. Keep on talking. Right up them steps, straight to hell. I'm getting spoiled from hell. I feel the same. I come from the rancid womb. Oh, frick. Drop it down, Evans. To the ground, Doc. Just like that, he's in control? That seemed a little too easy, guys. Even bad men love their mamas. <gasps> Dear heavens. Now, it's time for everybody to go home. Don't you move, Mr. Wade. I don't think you're gonna shoot a man you have behind the back of the head, boy. Tell your boy it's over. You think you can keep your gun on him, will you? Doing a damn sight better than you did. <sighs> Go, William. You ever been to Dodge City? Stop talking to him. Are you shuffling those cards? I took you for a pro. I practice a lot. I can tell. <sighs> I 
He's a charmer, isn't he? You ever been to Dodge? Yes, indeed. Venus, most beautiful, dirty city there ever was. Dodge City? Is that like Vegas? Women will do things to you you'll never forget. Okay. I give you disease you'll never forget. <laughs> you can have everything a man ever wished for. <laughs> I got there on my own as a boy, not much bigger than you. Okay, sir? And how many men you killed since then, Wade? How many families you destroyed? Quite a few. Is it true that you dynamited a wagon full of prospectors? No, that's a lie. It was a train full. Thanks. Yeah. Well, Dan, I gotta take a piss. You know, I thought he was gonna shoot me back in the thing. Reminds me. You're gonna be nothing like you, Wade. William's got a head start on the path of decency. Yeah, that's why I don't mess around with doing anything good, Dan. Imagine his habit for him. What's he looking for? Come on, let's go. Is that Dan? I can't see. You guys? Of course. They don't mind if you're dead. Wait! <sighs> I had too much heartbreak lately. Nothing can happen to Dan. I told you there'd be trouble. Give me the keys to the handcuff. Who's got guns on who right now? How oh, dare he? Easy now. Where is he? He's gone. Cut the horses with him. We're looking for help. We're going after him. Well, there ain't no reward for getting him halfway. That train is there. Why are there babies crying? Look, Wilson. What we need is some Negroes brung in here, Mr. Bowles. Kill these Chinamen with real work. Is. Oh my gosh. Holy Christ. That's him. Phil, help me with the handcuffs. Break the chest. His reputation. Sheesh. Who are these guys? What the hell's going on here? Mr. Butterfield. That's my prisoner. Ben Wade gunned down my kid brother. In front of him. brother was alive. Welcome, card shop. Could, of course, be some other ass I killed that I forgot about. He does not know when to stop. Can't do that. That's immoral. But at least let us take our horses. Got no problem, though. So they're just... Nice knowing you, Dan. <gasps> Doctor! Oh, I do like that move. Did Ben just help them escape to be their prisoner? <laughs> no, Doc! William! Oh my gosh, they're a team. No, Doc, no, 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 no. Did we make it? Did we get away? Yeah, Doc. Thanks to you. We need a place to lay low until the train comes. I'll check us in. You ride around back. All right. I feel like we should have him on the same horse. You see them coming? I'll let you know. Well. Was that an I love you? Was that a I'm proud of you? Or be safe? Or all three? Instead of pride and sweet. Hope you don't mind. It's all they had. It looks like rain clouds over Bisbee. Still need that $200, Dan? Shut up. We're looking for an outlaw by the name of... Then we... We've been chasing them through these tunnels. You boys. Some kind of... posse. Isn't he a sheriff? <gasps> I hate posses. Oh! Why did they do that to him first? What are you gonna do with your $200 now, Dan? People money, Wade. What do you think about double that amount? Uh-oh. Is that what you reckon my price is? No, I reckon it's a thousand. You could hire a couple of ranch hands, you boys could go to school, grow up smart. But how is he gonna get a thousand dollars? He doesn't have a thousand dollars with him. Would you give me a banknote? Cash. What would I tell people when I spend it? That you got the jump on me, you escaped, and somehow I got a fortune. Nobody needs to know. This is really, really hard. Don't talk to me for a while. I mean, we're still not friends. No, no, we're not. These two on the screen together is kind of crazy. They're gonna hang me in the morning. I'll never see the sun. Did that say 315? Guys, there's a part of my brain missing that knows how to read analog clocks. Have I ever admitted that on here before? Dan, this is Marshal Will Dunn. You're my finest man. Five of us. Five of us, good. <laughs> it ain't enough. It ain't nearly enough. It's them. It's them. It's them. Oh, crap. 
They're coming. How many are there? Seven, eight. Which is it, boys? Seven or eight? One, two, three, four. Seven. I'm gonna need you all to move outside as quickly as possible. Move on. They're really just gonna ride in here and murder everyone? What's the plan? They should just go like this. That one guy is so in love with him, he's not gonna let them do anything. Boss! Boss, you in there? What do you want me to tell him? You tell him you'll write him a letter every day from Yuma. Charlie? Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Why don't you take the boys down to the saloon and buy him a drink? You okay? Well, I'm fine. Just sitting up here with my four new friends. Hey, that's enough. Thank you, Charlie. Ah, uh, he looks better without it. Where's the train? That Fenway they have up there. The railroad intends to put him on the 310 to Yuma. Why don't they just shoot that guy? He's killed a lot of people. 200 cash dollars to any man who shoots any one of his captors. But you gotta shoot him first. Oh my gosh. Please, do you wanna see a shot down in the street? Every one of us is a fan. I'm a family man too. He's gonna walk out on you. Then you best get out like the rest of us. Now what you gotta figure out is why you and your <gasps> boy are gonna die. Because Butterfield's railroad lost some money. Shoot. They shot them anyways. Your move, General. Animals. All of them. They're gonna kill you and your father with No! Do what you have to, Dan. Why should I? Because you're not all bad. Yes, I am. You got us through the tunnels. You helped us. I had a gun in them tunnels. I would have used it on you. I don't believe that to be true. I don't believe you. I wouldn't last five minutes leading an outfit like that if I wasn't as rotten as hell. What? <laughs> I can't do it. And if I can't do it, you shouldn't do it either. Just you left, Dan. Maybe he's right, Pa. Maybe we should go home. Yeah. What would a Doc Potter give his life for, William? I'll pay the 200 and you can walk away. Well, this whole riot has been nagging on me. That's what the government gave me for my leg. They weren't paying me to walk away. They were paying me so they could walk away. <sighs> if you take them to the train, Pa, I'm going with you. No. Mr. Butterfield's going to take you home. No, I'm not going anywhere yes, with you. Yes, you are. I'll get him to Bisbee. Dan, I promise you. You're going to promise me a lot more than that, Butterfield. I want guarantees that Holland there will never set foot on my land again. And I expect you to hand my wife 1,000 cash dollars. I can deliver that. Just get him on the train. I want you to give this back to your mother. I want you to tell her that it helped me find what was right. Don't be a martyr, Dan. Can't you just leave? I don't want- I want to be a day behind you, William. He's gonna die. Unless something happens, and if it does, protect our family. And I know that you can do that because you've become a fine man, William. You got all the best parts in me. <laughs> what well, few there are. Don't say goodbye to your son right now. And you just remember. Oh my gosh. Your old man. Walk them way to that station where nobody else would. His integrity is really courageous because I would be too weak. No, that can't be the last time they look at each other. I really don't think I could take another sad ending. You read the Bible, Dan? All right, one time. I was eight years old. Daddy just got himself killed over a shot of whiskey. My mom said, we're going back east to start over. So she gave me a Bible. She sat me down at the train station, told me to read it. She was going to get our tickets. I read that Bible from cover to cover. It took me three days. She come back, did she? She never came back. Oh, my gosh. You didn't have a chance. It's three o'clock. It's time. I'm telling you, we just gotta go like this. It's a half mile to the station from here, Dan. Guess we're walking. Aren't they afraid they're gonna shoot him? Nothing. Dan. They're gonna shoot the guy. Man, you can explain to me the next portion of your plan. What's the plan, Dan? Not the black hat! The Oh, he's very fast at that. Okay, you're killing like every man in this town. Charlie! <gasps> they gotta switch hats. White door! Did he get hit? I'll get you on that train. Boy's gone, hero. Ain't nobody watching no more. Still got that one good leg. Why don't you use it to get on home? Charlie! Walking out! Oh, this is painting me. I don't know. No, 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 no. Please, 
don't. Please don't kill him. Remember his son. Please don't kill him. I remember Ben. No hero, Wade. He was in retreat. My fork got shot off by one of my own men. You try telling that story to your boy. So yeah, we can you then. Please don't kill him. Jail? On purpose? I'm so confused. <gasps> no, no, Dan. Where's the 310 of Yuma? Run late, I suppose. Goddamn trains. Never can rely on him, huh? <gasps> Is he okay? <laughs> Call him off! Call them off. Call your monsters off. Hey, stubborn. Mm -hmm. For keeping my family on a dying ranch. It's my son, Mark. He got tuberculosis. Doctor said he'd die if he didn't have a dry climate. Why are you telling me this? I wanted you to know that he ain't stubborn, that's all. <laughs> he wants him to know because he accused him of keeping his family there. I get it. Don't you dare, you evil monster. As long as we're making confessions. I've been in Yuma prison before. Twice. Escaped twice, too. <laughs> I'm so scared for William. Please just don't hurt William or Dan. First game. It's not even your. Get down, William! Who's there to go to Yuma? Move, move, Dan. Well, you did it, Dan. No! Shoot! No! Stop! I'll kill you! Huh. Did you not see him get on the freaking train? He wanted to go for Dan! Dead under horses. I mean cows. Oh my gosh. When I grant you, he's one tough son of a bitch. <gasps> I hate you so much. Too many sad movies. <sighs> He's not even gonna say anything to William. Crap. <sighs> oh, I'm so sad. I just keep thinking about Mark. He's gonna be so devastated when his daddy doesn't come home. Could they have at least shown Butterfield giving the wife a thousand dollars and William saving the family ranch? I, I know that happened. In my head, in my heart, I know they saved the family ranch. Actually, in my heart, <laughs> there was a doctor who saw the whole shootout and he ran out and was able to save Dan. They saved that other guy, he got shot right in the stomach and then but I think, I think he's fine. So that's great. <laughs> Whoa, that ending went crazy a little bit. Did Ben just realize that he's a monster, they're all monsters, and then he just killed his crew? Dan was just 
is just good man. And Alice should be proud to be married to him. And his son should be proud. You know when Ben was giving him a hard time, he's like, I would buy her nicer dresses and I would, you know, maybe she doesn't want that. Maybe she doesn't care about that. Maybe she just wants a good man, a courageous man full of integrity. Oh, wow. I was really hoping those cows killed Charlie. I thought that was a good move. It's not nice of me to wish death upon him, but he was pretty evil. And I feel like there was some chances. You know what I mean? And then he wouldn't have killed Dan and those boys wouldn't have lost their father. Ay, 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 that was rough. I feel sad, but holy crap. Christian Bale and Russell Crowe did so good. Them on the screen together was like entrancing and a good word. Is that a word? Hope so. <laughs> Christian Bale played like a desperate man so well that you could like feel it in your heart. And then Russell Crowe, he's so evil, but like he also showed signs of his humanity sometimes. Oh man. Good old fashioned Western. Thanks for watching along with me. Team William, Team Dan the man. Okay. Guys, I know it wasn't real, but why am I so sad? <laughs>